I'll break this whole thing right now. That's how I'm firing. I'm strong. I'm strong. I'm strong. I'm strong. Strange, bizarre, scandal. Ryan Garcia reacts to the news. The news is broke that his B sample also tested positive for, you guessed it, Osterine. Ryan Garcia's reaction, pretty peculiar one, if I'm being real. And that's what I give you guys on my channel. Real, unfiltered, uncut content. Now make sure you guys follow me on Instagram at Boxing Ego One. You guys see it right there. 60,000 plus fans on the page. Much love to you guys. Please subscribe to the channel, but also follow me on the gram. Boom. Now, Ryan Garcia, I made this graphic. Bizarre. Ryan Garcia reacts to the B sample positive test results i just told you what they were i made a video about it check that on the channel boxing ego get familiar with the name best in the business and it's not even close ryan garcia he deleted these but we'll go over what he said ryan tweeted on x i had s e x with steroids only once crazy bruh try it Ha ha ha. I will swallow all steroids. I don't care. I'll never make money again with boxing. Your loss, not mine, for setting me up. LOL, joke, joke on y'all. So he meant to say jokes on y'all. He said, I effing love steroids. These are the words of Ryan Garcia. Wow. I mean, this is just weird, but I told you nothing was going to surprise me about this particular fight. Ryan is claiming that he got dirt on Devin Haney. He's saying weird, bizarre stuff like I clipped Devin Haney up. I swallowed steroids. He's also said, look, Ryan Garcia has tested positive and he said it's because he drank prime. I drank Prime and I tested positive for Osterine. So I've been following this, doing an amazing job for you guys to follow it. Between my YouTube and all my social feeds, it's really up to you. If you want to know what's going on in boxing, I'm your guy. My name is Ego. I've been covering boxing over 10 years. He said a lot of just different things. Tested positive because he drank Prime from Logan Paul, his company. Now Logan Paul has sued him for defamation or libel and painting a bad image of his drink company, his hydration slash energy drink company. So I'm keeping you guys. Someone says, I hate both of these guys. New boxing news is needed. This is the lawsuit. Your boy Ego has obtained a copy. Prime hydration llc versus ryan garcia and this is the complaint or at least the beginning prime is beloved and world-renowned brand that develops hydration drinks energy drinks and hydration sticks prime seeks to fill the void in the market where great taste meets function yada 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 ryan garcia is on information and belief an american professional boxer he has over 20 million followers across his social media channels. Garcia has a history of stirring up controversy to promote his fights and personal brand, including by attacking other high profile individuals and brands. Although Garcia at one time was on good terms with Prime, as Prime grew, he decided to embark a campaign of spreading lies about Prime, his hydration drink, and one of Prime's owners, Logan Paul. So that's the latest. Ryan. Logan Paul's putting this on his gram. 
Ryan looks like roided out in this Photoshop with the Osterine and it calls him King Osterine, yada, yada, yada. So these boys is going at it. I'll keep giving you guys the latest Ryan clap back. But again, you guys can check that on the channel. Back to Ryan saying X, Y, and Z about steroids and I love steroids and all that. Everything I just read right here. I'll make money elsewhere. I effing love steroids. It's just weird. You know, Ryan's a, a grown adult male, but he's not acting like it. This soul fight has been really a mess. It's just it won't go, it won't leave. Like I'm I'm tired of even talking about it for real, for real. And I don't think this serves Ryan Garcia well in general. Like there's a lot of people who have a lot of questions and he's seemingly making a joke out of it and saying like yeah i love steroids and stuff like that i just don't know that that's the proper approach i can get it if he's saying he's innocent and he wants to prove his innocence but when you troll in such a way like people some people are going to believe it they're going to believe what you're saying and take it at face value and and or think that it's weird especially particularly you got to look at the commission what does the commission think like you have Osterine in your system and you know if they look at your social media and they see you're like I don't know lighthearted about it or joking I don't know if that acquits you well but then again Ryan has made so much money in his last three fights I don't know if he even cares I don't know if he truly cares like about a punishment because he knows he's already attracted this fan base who is going to in essence like back him no matter what no matter what is going on no matter if he tested positive and whatever happens next if he's suspended he's attracted a fan base that's gonna back him no matter what and this is part of the problem that i said with this fight i literally predicted this go check the old videos i don't delete the Devin Haney fight versus Ryan Garcia fight to me is now more nonsensical than ever. Like there's literally really no reason the fight needed to happen at this point. What is the, the good or redemptive quality of said fight? Devin, if he was cheated, then that's unfair. And he just took punishment for no reason and now i truly feel like the traje trajectory of his career has been altered from that and for what like what does he get from it unless he sues ryan garcia but i've never really seen that i never really seen somebody sue in the world of boxing because someone tested positive so i really feel even if ryan is banned or suspended it's his first infraction so it might be a slap on the wrist or we'll see what happens next with the investigation. Meanwhile, the damage is already done for Devin Haney. It's already done for his brand. Yeah, I get it. His team might be like, yeah, see, we only lost because we were cheated. But there's going to be a contingent of fans who are going to be like, F that. You were still getting hit like PEDs didn't do all that. You were getting hit and dropped at will. You had no defense for the left hook, no game plan. Your legs weren't working and that's what they seen and from that perspective to me that element of it makes sense it's not condoning cheating like nobody's condoning cheating but there were defensive flaws that were shown in the ryan garcia fight from devin haney because we've seen fighters like frank martin fought michelle rivera and he failed a drug test right despite him failing the drug test frank martin like absolutely shut him out in that particular fight and even dropped him when ryan is fighting devin haney he clipped him in the first minute and i i truly don't know if i just think that set an early nasty tone the other thing that's interesting is devin haney has already been on record before the investigation has concluded stating he doesn't really feel the need to get back in the ring with Ryan Garcia. And I think for that reason, 
this could forever haunt him. I can understand you would not want to fight someone who's cheating or whatever the case is, but Ryan, if you do stringent drug testing, I don't see what's wrong with the rematch because my perspective, and I know the perspective of others is what I just said, people seeing a lot of flaws that given night. So it would be beneficial to your brand to show that it was the drugs and that's why you lost why Devin Haney lost on that night because Ryan was juiced up and Osterine gave him some edge that he's not capable of naturally as far as Ryan Garcia I've already said my piece I think he should reduce the clowning around like you still I mean it's just crazy this is this whole fight has been weird I, I can honestly say I've never covered a fight that has played out exactly like this it's just weird from start to what hopes what I hope is the finish it's just been last like it's a month has already been went by and we're still talking about this fight Ryan has tested positive his A and B sample were both open they both show the Osterine there was a, another metabolite for Nandrolone that was thought to be on there it's just been one big circus after another and I, I have a feeling we're not done you know ryan has more to say ryan is claiming that he got a hair follicle test which if you want me to make the video on the hair follicle test put hair type the word hair in the comment section you can leave other comments but also leave an additional comment that says hair if enough people type the word hair in my comment section that'll notify me that i need to make that video but his team is saying that they had a hair test once they found out that Ryan had popped dirty. And from that point, they sent the hair to some doctor who's a specialist. And according to Team Garcia, he's stating that the hair follicle shows negative traces of the stuff he tested positive for. Now, in real terms, I don't know what that does. We have to see. I mean, he's going to have to present it to the any evidence he has. He's got to present it. It's like a court case. You got to present any any and every piece of information that you have to represent yourself in your hearing. And, you know, I don't know. I don't know what the commission will say to that because it was conducted by whatever doctor, even if he's accredited. I don't know if they'll accept that as admissible for this particular case because Ryan has Osterine according to an A and B sample and it was even checked and then it is still in the system. So ultimately this fight, we're not done. We're not out the woods yet. There's way more to continue to dive into. And I don't know. I, I'm just feeling I feel this fight has just wasted everybody's time, which is exactly what Boxing Ego predicted.